Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been warned by royal commentator Robert Jobson that the Duke's upcoming book will blow a lot of things out of the water. Mr. Jobson believes that Prince Harry's much-awaited autobiography will likely backfire on the royal family in the Sussex amid baby steps towards a reconciliation between the two sides. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle recently reunited with Prince Charles and the Queen during a brief stopover en route to the Invictus Games in the Netherlands. Mr. Jobson told GB News, of course, he had to meet his father first with Camilla and that was a very short meeting from what I understand and their relationship has been particularly strained. I think there's a sense of him being let down on both sides and we've got this book coming out which is pretty much in the sort of blow a lot of things out the water as well. So although these are baby steps in terms of a reconciliation or approachment between Meghan, Harry, and the royals, I can see it all blowing up in their face again, with this book. Clearly the relationship with his father is not particularly great at the moment and I don't know how long Harry can carry on being this court jester either, you know, he can make a laugh. He added, well, I don't think she's been laughing too much about what happened in the last couple of years. Particularly the Thanksgiving service and she's been through a lot the Queen and Harry and Meghan have contributed to that. It's not just the Andrew Saga things. I don't know he can't just waltz in and say I made her laugh and waltz out again with your Netflix crew and think all is great. The royal commentator and GB News host Eamon Holmes also discussed Prince's latest interview with an American broadcaster in which the Duke argued he wanted to make sire the Queen was protected. Mr. Holmes told the royal expert, Prince Harry, talks about being surrounded by the right people, either to protect the Queen from him or does he want his right people? It is quite an arrogant and contradictory piece of advice, surely. Mr. Jobson replied, well, it's narcissism to the extremes, isn't it? This is the guy that has already not seen his grandmother for a couple of years and well for a while since the funeral and that was only fleeting. He is desperate for Lily to meet her great-grandmother and for Archie to see her again now he is likely to enjoy and remember the event. Ever since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back as senior royals the couple have been busy launching multiple exciting ventures. One of these, Harry's memoir, is due to be shared with the world later this year and anticipation is already huge. According to OK! Royal author Duncan Larcom has expressed his belief that the future of Harry's family relationships could be heavily influenced by the revelations he makes in his memoir. Not only that, but the author has suggested that it could potentially make things very difficult for Prince Charles as future king. Due for release in late 2022, Charles reportedly fears the memoir will publicly blame Duchess Camilla for any childhood pain. Whilst some sources have alleged that the Queen is also worried about Camilla ahead of the book's publication. Now Duncan has suggested that it's not just Camilla, but Charles, whom the Queen might be concerned about when it comes to her grandson's memoir. He reflected that until the contents are known the so-called distance between Harry and his family could continue. The author claimed to OK, we don't yet know if or how strongly he'll slate his father and brother in the book. It's hard to imagine what might be coming, but until that book hits the shelves, the stalemate is highly likely to continue. Discussing potential thoughts about the book, Duncan alleged that the Queen who is marking her platinum jubilee year, could fear accusations about Charles' worthiness as future king. What must be concerning her most right now is not so much whether Harry will say Charles was unworthy as a father, but whether he'll say he's not worthy of being future king, Duncan speculated. If those sorts of accusations emerge, it could make things very difficult indeed. Prince Charles is first in the royal line of succession and the Queen has recently addressed her son's future reign. In a heartwarming jubilee message she shared her sincere wish that Camilla should become queen consort when Charles becomes king, reflecting on the monarchy's future. Any potential suggestion by Harry that his father isn't worthy of being king would likely cause shockwaves and could possibly affect the way people view the future of the monarchy.